hello everyone welcome to the channel in this video i am going to show you a new tool from ibm called as docling docling parses your documents and exports them to the desired format with quite a lot of ease and speed with the help of docling you can convert your pdf files for example to markdown or json or you can even do OCR on few of the documents with lot of ease and we will see it after installing it locally. Docling reads popular document formats like PDF, docu Word documents, PowerPoint slides, images, HTML, ASCII doc, markdowns and exports them to markdown and JSON format. It has got real advanced PDF document understanding, including page layout, reading order, and table structures. It has got a unified expressive docling document representation format, which I will also be showing you. It has got a very simple and convenient CLI, which you can use, and you can also use it in your Python code. So let's go and try to get it installed on our local system. Before I do that, let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are AgentQL. AgentQL is a query language that turns any web page into a data source. With its Python SDK and live debugging tool, you can scrape and interact with web content. AgentQL works on any page. It is resilient, it is reusable, and it structures the output according to the shape of your query. And I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Okay, so let me take you back to Docling and let me install it on my Ubuntu system. You can install it in the same way on Mac OS or on Windows because it is just a pip install. First step, let me create the virtual environment with Conda. This is not mandatory, but always a best practice to keep everything separate from your local system. Let's wait for it to get activated. That's done. Now, in order to install Docling, all you need to do is to run this pip install Docling, and that is going to install the Docling for you. By default, it uses the Easy OCR engine at the back end, but you can change it to Tesseract, and there is one more option which you can select. For that, you just need to install that Tesseract individually on your local system and then use it but i would suggest if you are just doing a simple ocr go with the defaults because they work perfectly well so let's wait for it to get created should not take too long and docling is installed i'm going to use docling on one of my local pdf file so this is a cli I'm just saying docling and then the pass to the PDF file and this command converts this PDF file into a markdown format. And this is a PDF which is already present on my local system. Of course, you can use any PDF which you like. So let me go to terminal and run that command. And you can see that it is downloading this small model in the PyTorch format. And this is the first time operation it is doing. So let's wait for it. And then it has downloaded the PDF file. Now it is processing that document, which is report.pdf. And within almost 82 seconds, it has converted the whole PDF file into the markdown format. So if you go to this PDF file, it is it has got nine pages in it and if i show you the markdown file which it has put it in here this is a markdown file there you go so this is the image at the top and then it has properly marked it, it down in the usual stuff which is quite good look at the formatting real good stuff i'm just scrolling down at it so that is what i really like about this not only the speed is quite good but also the quality is really paramount. And by the way, it is using the PyTorch model. I have a GPU card on this, but I believe you can very easily use it on CPU. So if I quickly show you my GPU con uh, consumption at the moment, so it's not using my GPU at all. You see that it is, it is just 26 MB here. So you can simply use it on your CPU stuff. 
Now from CLI, not only you can convert it into Markdown, which is a default one, you can also use it to convert to JSON like this. To, so this command is converting this PDF file to JSON to Markdown, but we are not doing any optical character recognition or OCR. So let's run it and see what it does. This time it is not going to download the previous model, which it did. It is just loading it onto our GPU. Let's quickly check if during the load it uses it or not. I mean, my GPU quickly, let me check. Yes, so when it loads it, then it uses around 643 MB of my GPU. So if you don't have GPU, it will load it onto CPU. And now let's see how long does this take. And this time it was even quicker. It just within half a minute, it has converted them both to Markdown and JSON. We already have seen the Markdown. Let's check out the JSON one. So this is a JSON. And this is your whole JSON schema here with body, with text, everything is there. So, and you can, of course, it's a JSON format. It's in the hierarchical structure, so you can check it out. But the real beauty would be when, if you're creating a data set and then you are just want it in JSON L format, you can create a JSON format from your PDF files or any other PowerPoint slides or work, uh, word document and then just use that json to create your data set how good that would be okay so that is uh, quite quicker now up till now we were just working on individual files if you want to work on the whole directory all you need to do is to give this where i'm just asking it uh, sorry in this one i'm just giving it the output path uh, where because earlier it was just saving it by default to my home directory or wherever I am running this command from the doc link. But if you just want to save it to this outputs directory, you can also do that. So let's wait for it to create it in the outputs directory. And while it runs, let me introduce you to the mast compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs, so do check them out. I think that was already done. So you see, it has done it. Let's go to that output directory. And there you go, in the output directory, I have now both of those files. So as I was saying earlier, you can not only do this, but you can even process all the files in a directory so for example if i have this directory which says my files and i want to process all the files in that directory and convert them into this one and i want to abort on error so you can do that so this is a command for doing so and you see that it has converted again everything very nicely in just 44.12 seconds and this is my output directory because it, they were the same files so it has just overwritten them not only you can work through it through CLI, you can also use it in your Python code. Let me show that you in the Jupyter Notebook. So this is my Jupyter Notebook and now let me show you how you can run it in your Python code. So all you need to do is to import this document converter from Docklink and then give the path or the URL to your PDF document and then use document converter to convert it and print it out. So similarly, it is fetching those model files. So let's wait for it to come back. It is going to take the similar amount of time. And there you go. So it has produced a very nicely written markdown file and printed it here for you. So not only you can save it, you can also just print it out on the screen. Another cool feature of this docling is that you can do hierarchy aware chunking which means that you can even create your own custom RAG or retrieval augmented generation pipeline where you have, for example, this PDF document, you want to chunk it or you want to convert it into smaller pieces. In other words, you can simply do with something like this in one line. How good is that? So this is really cool, uh, especially when it comes to RAG. And finally, you can also do the OCR with it. As you can see that all you need to do is to provide your 
image file and then use that document converter and it is going to convert that and you can either export it to markdown json and other formats which i shown you earlier and it looks quite good not bad at all in terms of ocr so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think about this talk link i will drop the link to it in videos description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching